all right fam we back out here live again today um this is day four of how to improve your love life by 3x over the next 30 days so this is day four today we're actually going to be talking about having the difficult conversations <laughs> i'm actually pausing like this because this is so befitting for the topic to be today um, just a little bit of backstory. I was writing out what I wanted to say on this very topic today that I'm bringing here to you guys and I needed to have a tough conversation myself. I needed to have a difficult conversation myself with my with my husband and um, it's a conversation I, that I was dreading actually. It was a conversation that I didn't want to have. It was a conversation that um, I kept pushing to the back burner. Uh, all of these things that I'm sharing with you here as far as how to improve your relationship by 3x I'm actually saying them to myself as well now that's important because just because I'm out here giving this advice a lot of times the people that are giving the advice also need to take their own advice and so I know that in order for me to come on here and be authentic and be the um, life and relationship strategist that I know that I can be and show up to be I have to I have to participate myself so it took me longer to get on here today because I wanted to have my own difficult conversation in my own relationship. So when it comes to what you're thinking about is a tough conversation or a difficult conversation, what does that look like to you? A difficult conversation is the one where you're dreading to have it. The difficult conversation is the one that you keep pushing to the back burner. The one that is giving you a little bit of anxiety. Hey, boo. How you doing, Dion? I see you, boo. <laughs> uh, the difficult conversation is the one that you know, you know what? It might not go well at all because you and your feelings about whatever happened, um, your partners and their feelings about whatever happened, but y'all both know that it got to get done. It has to get done. It has to get taken care of because the longer that you hold on to not having the difficult conversation, the more that the thing is going to simmer yes it's going to simmer it's going to hang around and then you're going to be all up in here and your spouse and partner is going to be all the way wrong because you're all up in here thinking that you know the story the way the story is unfolding because you're playing it out in your own head and i was doing this very thing myself i was being stubborn myself and i didn't want to have the tough conversation i didn't want to have that difficult conversation and I was just like, God be showing up and he be showing out. So if y'all don't know, today is actually my birthday. And I wasn't going to say nothing on my birthday because I'm being a stubborn person today, okay? <laughs> I wasn't going to say nothing on my birthday. I'm just like, mm, you know, it's my birthday. If you don't say nothing, I ain't going to say nothing, right? So he decided to come out of his stubbornness and he got me a gift. Okay, I seen the gift. I still wasn't going to say nothing because I'm still trying to be stubborn. Finally looked at the gift, read the card. Of course, it broke me down. So I'm like, really, God? Still wasn't going to say nothing, though. And then I was like, you can't go out there and record this stuff. Thank you, boo. Thank you for the happy birthday. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't go out here and talk about having the tough conversations, have the difficult conversations, and you haven't had your own. So I got on here a little bit later because I needed to have my own difficult conversation. Those con these conversations ain't never easy. You never wanna really have them. You wish that you could just keep brushing things under the rug, but you also want them to go back to the way that things been going. Unfortunately, it just doesn't work like that, sis. It don't work like that, bruh. In order to have a great relationship, in order to improve your relationship, especially by three times, you must have some tough conversations. You must be taken out of your comfort zone. You must get this anxiety that is gonna rise up and just say, you know what? I'm gonna feel all of this fear and I'm gonna go have this tough conversation because I want my relationship to go back to being smooth, to going back to being easy, to going back to where we can have the laughs and jokes, right? So sometimes we just gotta suck it up. And when you do go and suck it up, there are a few things that you need to think about. When you go in there and you suck it up and you start to have this tough conversation, you're going to understand your spouse's or your partner's perspective. I didn't say that you're gonna understand it and like it, 
but you will be able to understand where they're coming from so you can understand your partner so you can understand where the breakdown came from or where it went to during the course of uh, why why you need to have this difficult conversation so it's not gonna be easy but you will be able to understand your partner your partner will be able to understand you it's also gonna punch you in the face with some insight in your blind spots and what do I mean by that? I mean that just because you think that you're doing everything right is not the way that your spouse or partner is receiving it. You might think that you are giving your all. You are giving your all. And they like, mm, it ain't enough. And by the time they tell you, they're not wording it right because they all in their feelings, right? They all in their feelings, you all in your feelings, and it hardly ever comes out in a way to say, you know what, it's not, it doesn't come out in a way to show that they actually love you in that moment. I'm not saying that it's right, I'm saying that it's real. So, your blind spots. It's gonna give you some insight into your own blind spots. It's gonna give you some insight into the areas that you need to actually work on. Does it mean that you're gonna always get it right? Nah. But the more you practice on it, the better you're gonna get at getting it right right yeah having the difficult difficult conversations can be draining actually <laughs> it can be draining because you want to just move on and continue to do things that you want to do continue to make the relationship work but until you suck it up and actually deal with this thing it's not gonna work and the more you try to push it under the rug it's still not going to work so you gotta have the difficult conversations, you must. Having the difficult conversations is also gonna help you conquer your fear. It's gonna help you conquer that anxiety that you were feeling before you went and had the tough conversation. It's gonna help you conquer all of that because you're gonna be like, you know what? Ah, the weight is actually lifted off my shoulder now that I'm able to say what I actually needed to say. Now that um, my boo is able to understand where I'm coming from, now that they heard me out, now that you heard them out. So it's gonna help you conquer those fears because you're gonna fear the fear and do and have the conversation anyway. It's gonna make a world of difference. And so there are a couple things that you need to think about when you go into having the tough conversation, before you go into having the tough conversation. So what you want to do is that you want to think about the things that you want to say, like think things through. It doesn't mean that the conversation is gonna flow the way that you think it is, but you want to go in there and say what you need to say right you want to be as specific as possible so you can get straight to the point so you're not blaming your spouse for some of the things that you feel like you need to blame them for because you're trying to take the blame off of you so be specific only stick to the facts take as much emotion out of it as possible I get it sometimes it's hard but the more you practice at it the better you will get so be specific Another thing to think about is that you want to use I statements instead of you statements. So instead of going in there blaming them, and you did this, and you did this, and that's why I did this, and that's why I did that, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. That's not what you want to do, sis. That's not what you want to do, bro. What you want to do is go in there and say things like, you know what? I didn't like, you de I didn't like the way you talked to me during X conversation. Here's why I didn't like what you said to me during X conversation. And I appreciate if you don't do X again. See, that's a better way versus I talk back to you or I did this, I whatever, right? I did all of that because you did this. And then you got the whole, whole hand going, the neck is rolling, and y'all about to go back and forth. And it's not that type of party. That's not the way you're gonna be able to improve your relationship, right? So we're here because we want to improve our relationships by 3X. And this is gonna be one of the ways that you do it. You have to sit down, you have to have the tough conversations. And then finally, the last thing that you wanna think about is when you do go in there and have the tough conversations, you wanna think about a solution. Because a lot of people go in there and they want you to do all this change, they want you to do this way, that way, this way, that way, I ain't like the way you did this, it was your fault, X, Y, and Z, but they never have a solution for you. And that's going to be the only way you can start to get things right. You have to have a solution. So if you're going to go in there and tell your spouse about X, Y, and Z, 
you want them to come back to be able to tell you that this happened. And here's how we can solve X from not happening again, right? So just as I mentioned before, these messages are not just for you, sis. They not just for you, bro. They for me too. And I had to have my own difficult conversation. So now what are you gonna do? Are you gonna just let all of these things just go by the wayside? Continue to sweep these things under the rug, not speaking to your spouse, just being angry, doing things out of the unordinary, uh, unordinary just because, continuing to compound and add on things because the choice is all yours. In order to improve your relationship by three times, you have to have the difficult conversations. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I want to hear what you're going to do and what is the difficult conversation that you know you need to have. Or you can just raise your hand. Raise your hand. Put an emoji down there. Let me know that you need to have a difficult conversation yourself.